this is Dalen 75 Games. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2 Sons of Abraham. At least we lost our marshal. I thought we just replaced him. Gotta wait a few days for him to get in position and then we can research military techs. Oh, we can get we can upgrade our cavalry tech. Because that's exactly what I wanted, and then we'll go to siege. Yeah, we lost the war for this spot here, unfortunately. Nothing I can do about it. I went back and they had 9,000 soldiers. I couldn't even gather up 3,000. But we're going to take this fleet and we're going to try to hit, take more territory this way. Or maybe we should actually go up here. It's one spot. Yeah. Unfortunately, we lost. That's the only war we've actually had to give up on. Harold, my son, wants to know what it is all about. Why are we here on this earth? Make him a proper Norse pagan. Okay, so that did that for me. At age 19, Sif died of pneumonia. Let's, um, military, disband everything. Most unfortunate, this unit. Oh, it only says a thousand. What did we lose? Um, we, so we have our cavalry unit. Heavy infantry as well, so we lost the pikeman part of it. Great, that's what happened when we were over there fighting. Well, we're going to have to replace it. And that means waiting. We have, we have good income. Well, let the Irish deal with that big army that we left behind. We lost our seer. Not too many to choose from. Oh, it's probably because they have to be all Norse. Um, she she's just turned sixteen. This woman. And what am I doing? Um, let's look for. I think we have to go up here. These are still that foreign religion. We haven't been able to convert anything. Proselytize. Okay, so this is now ours. Um, yeah, it's under our name as well, because our flag is over it. We just don't have money. Need to see how much money I need to get that last retinue. It was 300 pikemen, so 64. We're very close. Another tick, and we'll have enough money. There we go. And it's not showing it. Hmm. I don't know why it's not allowing me cost to create. Yeah, we definitely don't have it. Uh, patience is a virtue, but sometimes it gets on my nerves. My son, Harold, never loses his temper, always waiting patiently for a chance to retaliate. Well, that's really good, and he's the... He'll be inheriting God. I Good, I cannot abide recklessness. Arbitrary really sucks. I hate that. It lowers people's opinion of you. Patient, you just got a good trait. And let's try to go back and get that military unit again. No, it's not allowing me to. Wish somebody would explain that one to me. We 
were just sitting here doing nothing for the moment. The cook complained to me about Eric's son temper tantrums. Apparently, about my son Eric's temper tantrums. Apparently, he punched her son in the face again. Beat him to becoming calm. Uh, encourage him to be more patient. Better. He's gained the patient trait, so both sons have patient. Yeah, it's still not allowing me to. I don't know why. We have to get going though, we've got things to do. And I'm not getting any younger, 37 now. Almost my real life age. She's past the, the childbearing age. My opinion of her has gone down. That's because we had some kind of dispute. Oh, um, I haven't done it once. I haven't gone on the ground hunt once. I have to remember to do that. September to November. Could easily have gone this time. So she's almost of marrying age. but So I'm sure that she has uh, arranged marriage with her. She's not coming up. Take concubine the heck? You just go and take anybody you want. Or ask to take it. And... Did you get child? Oh my gosh. You can actually go and educate a foreign... That's really strange. I can't do it because my two sons... But my wife might be able to do it. No. Not accept my offer. I think she said she had a tutor anyways. Crazy not to have a tutor for your future lord. So something must have changed. I don't know what it is. That's why I can't. It says total current retinue cap usage 1800. From realm, from holdings, from technology. Very strange. Our armies from our vassals have almost fully recovered, but from our domains, they're less than half. Oh, look at this uh, peasant revolt on Queen Denmark. Declare war. I become his new liege. Yes. We can at least take this spot. Oh, let me look at this again. It's just a hundred heavy infantry. It's not that many. No, um, don't know what happened. At least we'll be able to take this spot. So we did take back from Denmark in the end. A new discovery. New land has been sighted across the sea to the west of Iceland while sailing to Reykjavik from Norway. Gjundborn Olsen and his crew were blown off course and came upon several skerries lying off the coast of a much larger island, possibly a new continent. While Gunborn did not go ashore, the land seems to be unclaimed and unsettled. Sailors in Iceland have vowed to investigate the discovery further. What lies beyond, I wonder? I'm not sure how that affects us. There's another place we have to finish off. Declare war. Um, I don't want to be a truce breaker. So 926, just over a year away. And we gain the county. That's something for next year. Has this boy grown up yet? No, he's eight. But he likes us a lot now. Basically annihilated their army. Let's go finish it off. Well, they defeated that uprising in Denmark.
back. We almost have them beat already just from defeating their army. That's really bugged me. It'd be nice if I could marry my son to her. Rank. Chieftess. I can find a bunch of chieftesses. Well. Child of concubine. It's way too young. Gray eminence. I don't think we're going to find the brilliant strategist I'm looking for. Um, I'm hoping to pass that trade off to my son. Gray eminence is not bad. Chieftess of Toraro pets. I don't know where that is. But she's 18 and my son is 8, I think. Way too young. Well, he's 11. Charitable, proud, craven, heck no. Wrath, temperate, greedy, content, envious, just. She's... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure who to go with. Uh, probably should leave it till he comes of age. I definitely would go for it now. It's it's especially good if you can marry to, off to another princess. Like I would mar like to marry my son to the queen. She's gonna become a queen and be married soon. Arranged marriage. So that's just within the kingdom. I think what some betrothal was arranged a long time ago. Majority of the population in Vermonland have been converted to the Norse faith. Where is that? Um, the religion in my places is still Old Norse. Vermland. Verm Vermland is right here. Please, majority of the population to just have converted to Norse right here. My son Harold lacks all passion and ambition, perfectly content with his lot in life. Content. Uh, no, that will not do. All it does is gain you piety, but you, you lose, um, I forget what it said you lose. My little son Eric always has his nose in the scriptures as it spends all his time among the priests. Such a bright little child. Well, we have a lot of money now. Uh, I don't think it's going to change, though, because it's something about the totals. Not quite working right. Um... I wonder if there's something that you can get that changes the retinue size. I think that there was. See, like, right here, training grounds. Um, retinue size plus 20. Let's go to the new holding. Castle fortifications. Levy size. Fort level. Tax income. Might as well go with that. there. City fortifications. Church walls. More income. Go with that. I imprisoned a little girl. She's age zero. Um, ransom. Set. Now ours. What religion are you? You were Norse. That's good. Good enough for me. Doesn't really like me though. Lord honorary title, herdman. Send gift. There. You should like me now. 
Well, let's go up and grab one of these territories up here. And that would be part of uh, Norway. No, I'm pretty sure she's not at war with anybody. No. If she does go to a big war, we will be there. New important decisions are available. Hold the great blot. Yes. Five titles can be created. A lot of duchies. Uh, Gotland, Japlin, Trump. Yeah. Hmm. That would probably split the kingdom. Yeah, kingdom of Norway. Man, we might have a massive civil war ahead of us. They're age 12. No humans to sacrifice. <laughs> Let celebrations begin. Oh, we have a lower crown authority. In Norway. And we have an uh, independence one. Honorary title law speaker. Send gift. Yes, let's just get her off her back. Where's our army? We're gonna want to go north here. Majority of the population edger has been converted to Norse faith. these factions. This guy, isn't this the guy we just put in, took over? He is a telemark. No, he's not the guy that we just took over. Oh, wait. Should be. Vestfold, yes. Um, bring this guy back here to improve relations with him, as he's leading one of the factions. If you get it high enough with the relations, they end the faction, or they get out of the faction. For those who didn't know, Lords of Denmark have approved the institution of the Limited Crown Authority Law. This is the Queen. And she's not married. Oh, for crying out loud. Um... What can I do? Arrange marriage. Her. Oh, there's no one suitable? Oh, okay, there wouldn't be because it's, you yeah. know, well, that only makes sense. Um, my son. Still. She's going to marry soon, though. That's the problem. You can't just leave it. And she's not here. She's not coming up. Dynasty. Let's see if we can't find... Okay, well, then let's go to religion. Courtiers, chiefess, courtiers, chiefess. She's unmarried. This should be easier to do. Lots of Norse. Damn. I don't know what to do about it. As far as I know, there's nothing I can do. She'll find somebody. Marry a ruler. She might be unmarried for a while then. I don't know. I can't see the AI sitting without getting married. It's kind of important that she has an heir. So she has a princess, a sister, she's the princess. So if it's not, that's not even coming up either. It's very weird. Oh, my 
wife is not going to. She wants to become a spy master. I don't think so. Look what happened last time. Danish holy war on for Livonia on chief. Now, who is this guy? Okay, let's uh, continue on our expansion wars. Oops. Declare war. Holy war for Corellia. Uh, what does it say? If we win... What the heck does that mean? Okay, we can use this Cassius Cass, Cassius Belly to seize all titles held by an infidel within a teacher duchy at the cost of 100 piety. We lose 100 piety. If we win the war, if we, we lose by declaring, uh, lose 100 by declaring, which we've got more than enough. If we win the war, we have plus three moral authority for 20 years. Um, their religion has minus three. Their chief loses 100 piety, 50 prestige. I vassalize lords of his religion and takes all other titles in the Duchy of Karelia. I'm not sure what that means. Um, okay, well, let's try it. Holy War for Karelia. But that's only one spot, right? Nearby... Uh, Sunomensko, Sunomensko? Suomenusko rulers might ask to join High Chief in defense of their faith. Well, we're doing it. We have kind of a sizable army. Truces are expiring. Yeah, we're going to want to hit Iceland after this. Somebody joined in on the war already. Three people. <coughs> What's going on? I'm doing too well in this fight. No, we lost rather badly. Actually, not too bad. Uh, the problem is that this guy is going... Where is he going? Oh, he's going here. We still outnumber them, and that unit will grow again. Yes. We need to raise all of our military. Uh, I think you have to hold down shift. So it doesn't go from places. Maybe it's space. Because <laughs> that didn't work out too well. And uh, we need a navy. Okay, let's grab the army. guys that should just bound. Defeat. Oh, yes, for the army that came up there. I don't know who... Oh. Don't know what's going on with that. Danish Holy War for Livonia has ended inconclusively. Has she married yet? No. It'd be nice if she waited for my son. Come of age. Majesty. What does this do? Monthly piety. And church vassal opinion. Let's go with that. That's the only thing we can improve.
<laughs> you heard the echo on my headphones and that. Okay, they're joining their army together. We're gonna have to join our forces together. Population of Namado has been converted to the Norse faith. Religion. Oh, I think what it is, um, green means that it's it's your religion. So Uppsala, right here. Where is it? Right here. Uh, it's held by somebody who is not. Let's see what the person is. Um, Old Norse. Ask them to convert. He submits. We have a sizable military being gathering together. She has another upper Catholic uprising. Professor Gotland has been converted to Jarl of Estonia. We're seeing a lot of things that she's doing because I, I, I um, silver starred her. Hold in my son, almost of age, three more years. Hey, we almost have them gathered. This is a big army. Actually, I'm surprised at the size. And they have 2,000 there. We're going to march towards them. Uh, yes, we do need more generals. We don't have the best leaders. It's not like it was a few years ago when we had like 19s and 20s. Where's this person going? Going to Kemi. They're coming to us. We'll be there July 1st, and yeah, we'll beat them before they get anywhere else. We should crush them. So we have another person join the war. So it looks like what they've done is their allies have put everything they have on the one spot that was declared holy war on in order to defend it. Kind of like the Irish peasants were. Okay, so we are kicking their butts now. Quite a bit. But more of them keep joining the war. It's two just in the last month. Still, we have quite the huge army. We annihilated them down to the last man. We lost uh, a tenth of vote, almost a tenth. Okay, now it's time to siege this place. Oh, ah, we are suffering attrition. Monthly attrition. Supply limit 1k. Oh, give me a break. This didn't happen before. We were. Invading a whole bunch of places, and this never happened. I know this traditionally wasn't held by Sweden. But I I think this is... It's the Kola Peninsula, right? This thing. I think that this is all Scandinavia. The Scandinavian Peninsula. I could be wrong. Uh, all I know is that they have... We should leave about a thousand soldiers behind. Otherwise, we're going to lose our army new unit. Let's create a unit. Um, that looks good to me. Let's see. 1k for supply as well. 1k. And then you go back. So we're back to that again. <laughs> supply 800. 950. Yes, we are back to that crap. I wonder if it's because I'm not Old Norse anymore. I'm reformed, but it's going to take about 100 or 150 years 
to uh, get the technology to go into their lands and not have to suffer that level of attrition. So this attrition is very frustrating. I think we should go and kill this army and then leave that. Go here and grab somebody else. Um, nine. We're going to suffer a big attrition. There's nothing we can do about it. 24th September. Be there before the. I don't know why they're doing that. Okay, is there enough soldiers? Yes, there's enough soldiers there to siege the place. My nephew died a natural death. It's not old to be my nephew. Okay. Should be able to defeat them here. Well, we're just going to suffer attrition, are we not? 5.5%. Let's see if we can't take this spot. Salting this spot, and looks like we'll get it with minimum losses. Once we take it, hopefully... Um, what, what's it look like? Well, still 1k supply of it. Come on, man. Go to Finnmark. We'll just le exit this area because the attrition is just insane. I caught my young ward, Prince Harold, torturing a rat behind the stables today. I don't want it to be cruel. Uh, talk to him about kindness. Pray for his soul. Pray for his... Talk to him about kindness. Um, pray for his soul. 80% chance that uh, he won't get it, but... I don't know if he got it or not. Where is he? He did not get it. it oh no, he does have it. It's right there. Damn. When the guests arrive, my son Harold is the first to greet them and shower them with questions. Gregarious. Gregarious is not bad. Child clearly has potential against trait gregarious. It's plus two diplomacy. I think that just means um what the heck does it mean? Thirty first of March. I will beat them. It means to be like outspoken and not afraid of Carl Carla. Okay, where is this unit going? Going back and forth, doing nothing. We need to take this spot real bad. We're not making many, much money here, but maybe because of the levies we've raised. They're suffering a bit of attrition, but they're also growing. It's because I think there's retinue in there. Well, this place is almost surrendered, 92%. We haven't given either of these women a daughter. Or, uh, children. Ordinary title, some gift. Demand religious conversion. What about the other one? Minus 80%.
majority of population in Dahl has been converted to the Norse faith. I'm not sure where Dahl is. Uh, it's right here. So everything is turning Norse religion. We have the place. Let us offer peace. Force demands. We won. Put a lot of attrition, but we won. And it's now ours. We're going to need to give that spot away. Akami. Akami. Court. Have no men ever come. It's just always women. Intrigue. We have no money to hire somebody either. Well, you're not hiring. I think it's just like bringing them to your court. More technology from the spy master. And we can't get anything. Ah, uh, people are always dying. We can get rid of uh, round fleets, levies. Okay, that should actually help with our money. Yeah, now it's plus 8.36 per month. As opposed to like 199 or whatever it was. Merge. Can we declare war on any of these guys? Kind of concerned now that Denmark is in there. Oh, don't know. I, I think we should hit up Iceland immediately. Invite a noble. And that noble will now take over. Court. Him. Grant landed title. What's it? It's Cola. Who lower titles? And that's actually good because it's a way of getting them out, those people out immediately. Um, sorry, so you don't take it over and there's like a, one of those rulers there that's a follower of a different religion. They always tend to stir up wars. So it's peaceful in the Nor Norwegian half because they are not allowed to declare war. It's just the Swedish half, they are. So I actually found out in the forums, once this culture changes to Swedish, um, it becomes uh, the kingdom of Sweden, so the Svipjad. But once I take over, I think it's Denmark, if I take over one more, I can actually create the Empire of Scandinavia. So, oh, that's, this place is called Elba. I would like, oh, look at England. See, it's kind of forming right now. They have the capital. And they're Catholic. That's a, that's probably other than Denmark. That's our biggest threat. We need to get down there. Oh, just caught it in time. Let's go on that hunt. Round hunt. Finally, get to do it once. I will find the white stag. The dogs have caught scent of a boar in the forest. This is the chance of getting a mighty boar slain. So you choose that you can get traits. I will face it along with my spear. You can also die, actually. And you can get wounded. 5% uh, chance of getting wounded. He's faced the stag alone with his spear. Okay, so that I know that guy likes me. Um, my vassals. Who doesn't like me? Who likes me the least? Uh, Chiefess of Nordland. Up here. Well, you can go up here for now. The hounds were more alert this morning than I've ever seen them before. Something st stupendous must be awaiting for us. Uh, I don't want to get the Craven trait. A diligent is a really good trait. Uh, what are we waiting for? Let's go. 
I get the trait Diligent and 5% chance of getting wounded. Heck yeah. A white heart has been seen in the north of Helsing Gland. I am told it is a heart of 10 and the biggest deer ever seen. Um, this is your way. It's just maimed. I don't need to go after it myself. You can actually... Um, his opinion means 100. But you can send people off to... To uh, kill these things and I'll like you for I will send out my best hunter. Grand Hunt is over for now. This is a truly noble endeavor and a true challenge for our martial abilities. So now he's diligent. He's going to even be a better general. 22 martial. I'm surprised with all the fighting he's done. He hasn't gained any... Um, like you gain heavy infantry or cavalry leader type things. Or what terrain you're better at. Uh, still, my retinues cannot increase it. I think we should go raiding, but we have Norway or Iceland to take. It's too many places to take, and I don't think that we need to do. Let's just raise my personal fleet. We only need ten galleys for this. army. Pretty sure they will not be able to defeat us with a thousand. So we'll have Iceland. Uh, now, what is this considered part of? Fire war. Du jour. We get this as well. King Mjornson becomes the new liege. What about here? We can get all these. Declare war. De jure claim. So this is considered part of Scandinavia. I become the new liege of him. This might not be this island. Orkno. De jure claim on Orkno. Yes. What about places like this? No. Yeah. So these three islands we can also get. Three island groups. Might as well do it. Those will be our targets from now on. Denmark is looking weak. Oh, my wife died. Of terminal stage leprosy? I've never heard of that in the game before. <laughs> you can get leprosy and die. Maybe I missed it where it said she gained... She had leprosy. I definitely do not remember it. It says leper. Afflicted with horror that is leprosy, this character is experiencing... Purgatory on Earth. Hideous and sterile. Procreation is most unlikely. I don't know when she gained that. I must have missed that. At least she had a daughter. She's now six, and she's six. She's got a stutter. Not a big deal. Um, she needs to be educated, and I can't do it myself because I'm already doing uh, working with my sons. Educate child. We're gonna need to find somebody suitable. Brave, Roth, kind, charitable, temperate. How can you be temp... Okay, it's just everything in moderation. This guy looks good. His diplomacy is really high. So he's going to tutor my daughter. Um, she's too old to have kids. But the other one isn't. You know, we do not like each other too well. Demand religious conversion. No. Um, arrange marriage with me. Would she like that? I would gain 10 prestige from marrying into a house of Munso, 100 from marrying a king. Oh no, sh she would gain this prestige. But since I'm now single. She arranged marriage. Why? She will not accept my offer. Matrilineal. She will not accept my offer. What is the reason? Political concerns. Uh, base reluctance. Well, it's just about even. I see. Five little marks for political concerns. Four, her opinion of me. 
She does like me. Just not really like me. Can't send her a gift without having a lot of money. Uh, pick an ambition. Weird. Get married. We were unmarried. Yes, we know that. Uh, she would make an excellent wife. I think I should arrange marriage with her. We can collect a royal aid duty. Yes, this time I will. So she likes me a little bit more. But that abductor thing is still there. <laughs> Ord honorary title, send gift. Demand religious conversion. It's not happening yet. It would be nice. Um, I'll try to do everything I can to convert her. She just has such a, a good trait. She's a brilliant strategist. State Marshal, she's excellent. I'm starting to look old. I'm 41. The age of my wife. Real life at the moment. Okay. Uh, 21. Not necessary. But let's just combine the fleet. Oh no, actually we're paying for this expand. So I fulfilled the ambition to get married, and there's no other ambition. So I'm now married to a Welsh woman. Who? Okay, so th what's happening now is that her relatives... Your brother-in-law, he's a petty king. We took his sister. <laughs> we took his sister. What kingdom is it? I need to find out what kingdom it is. Uh, Dehubarth? What? Press the honor against count. Oh, whatever, we'll do it. Um, it's here, so it's basically the good part of Wales. If Harold is nowhere to be seen, you can always find him in the courtyard playing with his swords and practicing his sword fighting with older men. That, that's good. Diligent, proud, brave. Uh, this will turn Harold into a great knight. One of three options will happen. So it's going to happen. Yeah. All three of those are good. Uh, proud isn't so great. But diligent and brave. I think brave is... Where's brave? It's just two, plus two martial. And it's good. He's getting the proud trade, the least of the ones that I wanted. Anyway. I thought I already had proud. I wish I can get rid of the arbitrary trade. I really dislike it. I don't even... How, how does that correspond to real life? He's like, oh, I don't care if it happens or not. <laughs> well... Uh, looks like he's about to lose this battle. Man, we're about to declare war up, up here. Okay, well, we can... Side, Sidetracking us, basically. Population Antis land have been converted to the Norse faith. We've got a lot of places to go to war with to conquer. Not really pleased with this. There, we annihilated them. Wiped them out. The war should be won. Don't bug us again. Okay, now back to our target. It's better if you actually go by land. If you go by land by sea, I think you get a minor penalty for some kind of amphibious invasion. Ah, 
I think she's kind of pretty. I know this is a little... Well, she's young. Pretty neck. Now, declare war. And there we go. We can call in allies. Now I guess they're considered an ally, which is very ironic because we were raiding the hell out of them before. We took the, the man's sister as our personal sex slave <laughs> for what? Uh, 12 years or 11 years. No, 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 what am I thinking? Um, she was 16, 5, 8 years, and then we married her. And now she's queen of S the great Scandinavian kingdom of Svithyod. It's probably one of the most powerful. It looks, on the map, it looks like one of the most powerful places there is, but manpower-wise, not so much. I mean, the most we can muster is, like, probably if everything was fulfilled, about 6,000. Uh, 35, that's, that's about 6 right there, so it's about 7,000 soldiers. That's not too bad, but it would be nice to have more. Once we are able to get the, change the laws, um, to medium for Svithyod, we'll get a lot more soldiers. We'll probably get another couple thousand. Maybe have, so we'll have maybe an army of around 10,000. So, Alright guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.